So to set the various BIOS options, what we want to do is first click the Advanced tab, and then we'll have a series of tabs up at the top um, that correspond to what's in our document, and we're going to go through those and make sure everything's okay. So if your date and time is incorrect, go ahead and change the date and time and hit Set here. We want to make sure our event logging is selected over here. And we can clear the event log if we've booted this computer or this is our second time trying to install or something like that. We can also clear the event log. Um, but making sure event logging is checked here. I'm going to click the right arrow over on the side to take me to the Devices tab up top, you can see. I'm going to enable USB Legacy, the Portable Device Charging Mode. I'm going to leave the USB 3.0 port header configuration as it is and leave all the other USB ports enabled. Now that took me to cooling. I'm going to go back to devices and go to the SATA device. Um, just make sure everything is enabled here. Video devices, the default settings should be okay. Onboard devices. I'm going to go ahead and disable the audio. We don't need it. Um, as well as the digital microphone. I'm going to leave the Bluetooth and the SanDisk card. Um, leave the rest of these settings on for the legacy device. PCI is okay at the defaults, and we don't need any add-in config. So hitting the right arrow will then take me to the cooling. I want to make sure that the we have a balanced fan control mode right here, which is the default. I'm going to take us to the, in the performance tab, there's nothing that needs to be set there. Everything should be enabled. So in the security tab, um, for right now we are not set setting any BIOS passwords, so we're going to leave all of this the same. The unattended BIOS configuration, what we want to do is say temporarily skip prompt. We actually want to change this to never prompt. Um, what can happen is sometimes when the computer resets and it'll go into BIOS mode, it'll sit there waiting for a user prompt and we will get locked out of our computer and we will sort of never have access to it until someone physically goes and hits a prompt there. So we want to set that to never prompt. Um, everything else should be okay here. Over in the power settings, <coughs> We should be able to leave everything at their defaults um, without too much configuration. And then for the boot priority, we're going to go ahead and leave these items selected also as their default. So what we can do is hit F10 to save and exit, and it'll want us to save. And this will reboot us and take us back to the beginning where we don't actually have an operating system, so there'll be nothing that it can boot at this point. Um, so our next step will be to download Ubuntu onto our USB key, and then to return to this stage and select it from the boot menu. So here you see it checking the media presence and saying a bootable device has not been found. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and hold down the power button on the Nook itself shut this down. And then we will flip over and download Ubuntu.